this is another example of playing in position, learning something in position. Uh, I was talking about this earlier too. You learn the scale chords. This is a, a little scratchy here because there are songs written that have chords in them that aren't in that scale. There, there's, there's a lot of them. So, I mean, you know, you can be playing a song in E and there'll be a C in it. Well, that kind of circumvents this here, but what I'm talking about is learning the chords that are in the scale in position, so you can play them all in the same position. We'll use G, for example, one, G. Okay, now this is interesting. Two is A minor. Well, let's just make it an A minor seventh. That just means flap over. You got four strings. So there's two. One, two. All right, three is B minor. You don't have to go up here. B minor's right here. So you got one, two, three. Of course, four is C. But I, I don't even make that one. I mean, I just flap over the G for the C, which is just, it's, it's the same thing as the A minor seventh. I'm just not hitting the E string. So you got one, two, three, four. Of course, five is right here, the D seventh. So one, two, three, four, five. For the sixth, the one I was talking about earlier, you just make the triad there and put your little finger down. There's the sixth, which in this, in this key is E minor. We're calling it E minor. Seven, uh, this is interesting. Uh, all my life as I was raised up, the, the, the way to play the seven, the seventh was the flatted one. I mean, it's a seven. But if you're playing along, someone says play a G seventh, they don't mean play a G with a G flat in it. They mean play a G, a dominant seventh, a G with a F in it. But the seven is actually, in the scale, one below the one. Seven, eight. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That, that, there's all the chords in that scale right there in the key of G. And I, you know, I'll still argue today with people about what the seven is. With it, it, sometimes it's written as major seventh. If it's written as major seventh, and they mean the flat seven. They, they would, a G major seventh would be a G with a G flat in it. But if you see G seventh written, it's an F. My wife who plays piano will tell me it's the exact opposite, so uh, I don't know which it is, to tell you the truth. But to me, that's a G seventh. That's a G major seventh. 